In mid-journey, your prompt is either your shortcut or your speed bump. If you're a designer using mid-journey, this one shift in how you prompt can save you some serious frustration. Because when your inputs are muddy, your outputs are messy. Let me show you how to skip the guesswork and start creating killer images on the first try, especially with version 7's new powerful updates. Today you're going to learn why prompts matter more than ever, the three best practices pros use, and how to instantly improve your results. So stick around and I'll show you how you can use Midjourney to personalize your AI art generation. So lesson one is all about specificity equals speed. The better your input, the faster you'll get your desired outcome. So what makes a good prompt? The basics that still matter in version seven are the subject or the who or what is it. An example here is a prompt and we've got California vibes, palm trees and sunset as the subject. Next up is style. What is the visual vibe? Again, same prompt, vibrant colors, retro 80s style. Then let's add just enough detail to make something matter. And here it's just warm atmosphere. And finally, let's add some maybe some terms, but you got to make sure you know what they do. And here we're adding tourism photography and light bleeding on the left. And that's what makes these images. Some common mistakes I see a lot of people make is trying to stuff prompts with too many competing styles or buzzwords that they find on other people's work, such as trending on art station or 4K, or the worst is hyper realistic when they just want to use photography. And they do this just because they see somebody else use it and there's not context to what it actually does. So you should play around with some stuff. Lesson two, prompting best practices for better results. So we want to prompt from big to small for ideas. You don't need many words. You just need the right words and you want to start with a broad subject. Then drill down into key attributes. Here's an example, cozy mountain cabin, dusk, cinematic, high angle shot. That's all you need. And this is way better than some of the prompts I see where they get this chat GPT generated thing with all of these filler words and stuff that doesn't really matter. So quit doing this. And this, I want to tell you is why brief specificity really works is because Version 7 understands natural language better. You don't need all that junk. You can use simpler phrasing and don't have to write all that fluff. Lesson three, we want to use the stylized slider intentionally. So the stylized slider is in your command control center and it helps you adjust how much creativity to use. And stylized 100 is more literal Stylized 500 is balanced. This is probably the version seven sweet spot, but stylized 1000 gives you wild artsy interpretations of your prompt. And if this is where you're going, maybe you should use that. Pro tip is to use all three of these at once with the power permutations curly brackets. I talk about this all the time in my other videos. This is just the curly bracket, which is the right, the key right to the right of the letter P and you just close it in with some commas and it will generate all three of these at one time. So let's do a bonus tip and we're going to craft some stuff using mid journey's new voice command. We just turn on draft mode and we turn on conversational concrete texture background. Make it dirty. Light and shadow play. Change the aspect ratio to a square. Let's do stylize 1000. Let's try sepia tone. 
let's do subtle vary on the first image. Let's upscale the second image. So you can see we went from here all the way up to a finished product without even typing. Isn't that amazing? You should try this today. I've got a bonus bonus tip for you. Let's create and use mood boards so you can work on dialing in results that are more reflective of your personal taste and style. Let's check that out. Okay, I've already got a prompt set up here. We're gonna see how it looks without the mood board and then we're gonna turn some mood boards on. So here's our image without a mood board. And while that's working, let's go to personalize this is where your mood boards are. And uh, let's turn them on. And then we're gonna try out just using our illustrations mood board. So these are illustrations that we've done. And we're gonna create images that use the illustration mood board as a source of inspiration. So now let's just use the same prompt. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on our personal eyes. This is our mood boards. And we're gonna just use our illustrations one that we did. This has tons of illustrated work that we've uh, saved into the mood board. And it's gonna influence how this turns out. And you can see it, it says mood board illustrations right here. And you're gonna see uh, it's gonna be different than the other ones. So now let's use a different mood board and we're gonna use our floral pattern mood board that we've got set up right here. And let's go ahead and choose a different one also. Let's use our uh, illustrations. And let's go ahead and use our, let's use watercolor global profile floral and illustrations all at one time. It's gonna be a massive one just to see what we get. And here's our default without any mood boards. This one is using our global profile and floral patterns. This one is using our global profile and illustrations. And this one is using uh, global profile illustrations, floral profile and watercolor. Let's check them out. These are pretty nice. I like that one. These are great. That's awesome. There you go. So which one of these do you like? You see how you could add your own style to things and not just let mid journey drive the car. So this is really interesting. You should try mood boards out today. All right. So let's recap today. So we learned that specificity equals speed. Try to have really good prompts that really dial in exactly what you want. Don't use the gobbledygook that you get from chat GPT. You want to state the subject and list the attributes. That's the easiest way to get to where you want to go. And then use stylize intentionally from it. The range is from zero to a thousand. Closer to zero is exactly what the prompt is. Closer to a thousand, you get uh, much more creative results. The sweet spot is 500. So try optimizing one of your old prompts with today's tips and post it in the comments and I'll we'll respond right back if you've got any questions. Don't forget to join the Mid Journey Experience community for more best practices and tips that you can use today. The link is in the description. I'll see you there. <laughs>